everyone, it's Lizzie from Lizzie's World of Gems. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know why the camera went up all of a sudden than it was before. <sighs> I don't know. So you're gonna have to see my shirt. So I got another unboxing and bagging. It's in a boot. I'm not really happy with the way this one is looking already because it is in a boot. But I got this from the AliExpress and it's the As Nilly store. I probably pronounced it wrong. I will link it in the description below. I don't know. Sometimes I watch videos to see how other people pronounce it and that's how Ella pronounced it. So that is what I'm going to pronounce it as well. I bought this one for my friend for a present for my friend. Oh, ain't that different paper on top of it. I've never seen that before. Interesting. So I bought this for my friend Mo for either Christmas or her birthday. I'm not sure when I'm going to start it, but that's what I got it for. Um, for my friend Mo, this is not a painting that I would purchase for myself. But for Mo, I would purchase it. I put the picture at the beginning of it. It is of a pug, as you can see, with some flowers in his mouth and a little bow tie. I've seen a lot of stories carry it. And I thought it was just so cute that my friend Mo would really, really like it. So it comes with a standard tweezers, a weight funnel boat, a couple of baggies, a pen with a three placer, and a little thing of wax. Um, it comes with an inventory sheet. Sorry about all the crinkling. Well, we'll get to that in a minute. Let's open up this. Oh, it's got that stinky tape on it. This looks like it is double-sided adhesive. Oh, why did I do that, Liz? Why did you do that on the blue new mat? Yeah, because I don't know what I'm thinking. I just covered my table again with a new mat. Just for these unboxings. Pua. This painting stinks <laughs> to high heaven. Ugh. It does. It stinks to high heaven. And it's tough as nails. This is the weirdest double side of adhesive I've ever seen. This is all new to me, people, all new. Let's see how the puck looks anyway. He's looking pretty cute. It's very, very close up, more than I thought it would look. Oh, look at him. He's going to be a little cutie. A little cutie petunia. Yes, he is. And let's pull this side up to straighten out the double-sided adhesive. Find if you peel it back. But sometimes it causes rivers when you do this. But so far, I don't see any. That was weird. So far, I don't see any rivers or anything like that in this picture. So that is a good thing. Well, this one has the arrow like they do, I guess, in cross stitch. I heard that's what that means. I don't know. Bow tie doesn't look like anything right now, but I'm sure it's going to look good once it's all done and said. But I got this for my friend Mo 
And that's a lot of the background color. I don't know when I will complete this one for her, but I will complete it for her at some point. I thought I would do a diamond painting, a nice size diamond painting for her that I myself did. Like she diamond paints herself, but I wanted to do something that she could keep forever that I made for her. You know what I mean? Now, because this double side of adhesive is so thick. I wanted to see if it's true to size. It's pretty darn close true to size, so. Yeah, it's pretty close to true to size. But I think it's gonna look nice. Let's open this up and see. It looks like it's in baggies, which I'm already loving. I wish all the companies would do this now. As I tell you, yep, they are. They're all in baggies, which I do love. No, they're not. They're not all in baggies. They're in strips. Holy Hannah, look at all this ivory. That's a lot of ivory. They look okay through the bag, but... Mm, not really going to know until I lay them down if they're going to be good or not. There is 30 colors in this. So I'm going to fast forward this and I am going to do inventory and I will be right back as soon as I check it all. gems are here. The only thing I'm worried about is some of these only have one bag and I don't know if the count in these bags are correct. And this one didn't have a number on it but I figured it's this one and it's supposed to be 106. I don't know, does 106 look like it's in here? I'm kind of worried about these single bag ones because they look so thin out with hardly anything in them. And I'm kind of worried. I'm kind of worried that I'm going to run out of colors in this one. But I won't know until I do it, obviously. I can't judge it until I complete it. But it has some pretty colors. Very little, and I think it's for the bow tie. And like, even the black, the 310, like, the bags feel kind of skimpy with hardly anything in them. The drills look good, but won't know until I dive in, obviously, because sometimes I think they look good and they're not when I put them on. So we'll have to wait and see. It's the, it's the black down color that's going to be worrious if uh, the black brown color, this one that has a lot. I see a little bit, I see one with a dimple on it. Um, I don't know, I won't know until I try to do it. Um, and we'll see how it goes. 
I don't know when this one will ever get into if I'm going to do this one this year or not. But if I do start it, you guys will be the first ones to see it. It is cute though, isn't it? It is pretty cute. But yeah, it'll be interesting to find out about this store. If you've probably noticed, and pretty much except for last week's mystical, the mystical diamond painting one was not a square. But the majority of the ones I do buy off of AliExpress, I buy in square because if it's square and it pops, then I know not to go back to that store. Even though the rounds could be good, I don't know. I don't feel like buying round and square of one store every single time just to try it. I'm only one person. I can't do every single diamond painting. But... I have a few ahead of this one, but when I get to this one, I will let you guys all know how I feel about it. This is really neat how it has these squares because I can just cut along these squares to uh, done paint. Maybe that's why it's like that. I don't know. This is the first time I've ever seen this. So this should be interesting and Gigi's snoring. But yeah, because he does have some pug in them. That's why he snores so bad. But that is it for today and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time Friday for Flirty Friday. I have some announcements to make on that video of something new I want to try. So if you guys are there on Friday and you listen to my whip and chat you guys will find out what I mean. It has to do with my comments in my videos and my Facebook page. So it's something new that I'm going to try and see how it goes and I want to interact with my subscribers and this is the way I'm going to do it. So if you want to find out what it is, come see my video on Friday and I'll let you guys all know. Till next time, take care everyone. Bye! Well, folks, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like, please subscribe to my channel. I be super tickle pink. And remember to hit that notification bell and it will remind you whenever I load up a video. And till next time, take care, everyone. Bye.